Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Tilok Fracture Imaging. Tilok Fracture a uh, shorter parish tightly fracture through the anterior lateral aspect of the distal tibia epiphysis with variable amount of displacement. It occurs in older children and adolescents when the major aspects of the distal tibia grow flat and start to fuse. The fracture commonly results from a supination external rotation mechanism. With this mechanism, the inferior anterior inferior tibial fibular ligament Evars. The anterior lateral corner of the distal tibial epiphysis. The fracture requires an open physis. The lateral aspect of the distal tibial physis is usually close between 12 to 15 years away, while the major aspect close earlier. The lateral epiphysis is open is due to grow flat fusion commencing from medial to lateral aspect. Vertical fracture through the distal tibial device is sort of tightly, with a horizontal extension through the lateral aspect of the epiphysis. No metaphysis Fracture is present, uh, coronally oriented. Metaphysial fracture, in addition to the tilo fracture, constitute a three-plant fracture. This is a good case of the example of the tilo fracture. We, we can see minimally displaced fracture through the anterior lateral distal tibial epiphysis, tallow crural alignment, and the syndesmosis are preserved. So what we can see is Loose and line fracture go from the major aspect of the epiphysis to the across the epiphysis of distal tibia. Another example of tibial fracture so that the in Articular fracture of the anterior lateral aspect here we can see here of the distal tibia epiphysis is clearly visible. This is an associated hematrosis and fat head displaced, which can be best listened anteriorly to the lateral. Ladra radiograph. Oh, yeah. Hematrosis. In this particular case, it has little additional important, but it is good maybe to pay attention to this substitute of normality to detect similar but more subtle fracture. Example or another case of example, telopracture in the CT scan. The fracture through the tibial epiphysis and microplat, Harris Sauter Harris Tysley, with a wide lateral portion of epiphysis, visually no dislocation. The fracture is best appreciated in the coronal theory.
CT lab and calls of the tube fracture with a vertical component through this, the digital and the tibia epiphysis and horizontal component through the anxious lateral epiphysis. The tilt fragment is displaced seven millimeter in both anterior and lateral direction. The posterior and media physis is choosing, but the process is yet to be complete. There is also an a comp Pinning a version picture of the digital table. Treatment and prognosis. The degree of displacement with decayed management. Open reduction and internal fixation is required when the displacement is mild or cannot be corrected with close reduction. As with any intra-articular fracture, the persistent articular surface step predisposes the joint to premature secondary osteoarthritis. Thank you.